thank you for inviting me into your home. I know we only just met yesterday, but I want you to know that I'll always be here for you, okay? The Literature Club is one big family, and we accept you a part of that. Even if you aren't the most inclined towards our activities, I still want you to be able to enjoy what offers we have, and also make new friends with us. It's always nice opportunities here, and we really do appreciate it. <laughs> Even if Sayori forced you to come here and you never really wanted to in the first place, I want to be able to open up and show you that the Literature Club isn't just another boring regular club like everything else, okay? We do fun activities and we get along. <laughs> I know it sounds boring, it's literally called the Literature Club, but we do read a lot of fun stories, we write, and we express our imagination and ideas with each other. You should try it. You can open up and make a lot of new friends. It's only me, Sayuri, Natsuki, and Yuri, of course, but that doesn't stop any new members from coming. I mean, you came along, didn't you? That's what I thought. Now, could you tell me what's going on? You... You just look really upset, and I'd hate if it spoiled the mood for you whenever you came to school today. You can't tell me it's nothing when obviously it is something, okay? That's like the one rule. Don't say that, that you're fine, that you're feeling better now when you're really not. Obviously, you are down, okay? Let's get that straight. You look upset, you sound upset, and quite frankly, it's quite upsetting. You either need copious amount of sleep, or you just have very, very deep eye bags. And judging by the piles of papers on your desk, it's the first option, isn't it? Please get sleep. If you'd like, I can, I can write you an excuse from the literature club for your absences. Yes, yes, I'm completely sure that it's perfectly fine. We've done it before for Yuri whenever she was feeling down and we eventually helped her and she got better. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's fine though. Listen, you can tell me whatever you want to. We've only known each other for a few hours, even, so I, I, I can't force you to trust me with anything. That's on your own will. There. Is it alright if I give you a hug? I, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> okay, I see. So you did want a hug after all. I'm sorry, whatever you're going through. You can tell me, okay? Oh, I see. That, that's so awful. Please. If you ever need someone to talk to, the Literature Club is always here for you. I'm always here for you as club president. Uh, yeah. It's not a situation to be easily solved in big numbers, I understand. <laughs> Still, I'm kind of disappointed that you kept that to yourself. I'm sure you've told Sayuri, right? No? Not even her? Wow, this must be pretty serious, but I still don't understand why you told me. Of all people. I feel really forced. Or rather, forcing. I been so enthusiastic and just wanted you to join the club and have fun. I guess I never really thought about your situation or what you were going through at the time. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. I've been managing this club for a few weeks now and I really love all of the girls. <laughs> and I'm hoping that maybe you could learn to love it too. <laughs> No, not the girls. Well, I mean, yes, also the girls, but 
I want you to love all of the fun activities that we have planned and the um, competitions that we might enter in or start. I'm not really sure. Um, one or the either, or maybe even both if we're lucky and the principal allows us more funding. We do get less funding than all the other clubs because we have four members. Five now, when you joined, but um, that's still too little compared to the sports club which has hundreds of individuals. We're just a tiny speck in the sea of students. Yeah, <laughs> I guess five members isn't much, but it's still something. Yeah, you're right. I guess I've been thinking about it too negatively. No one's really wanted to join because they all think it's boring and no one wants to learn about literature anymore. But I think it's fascinating. You get to learn all these different stories about different people, even if they're imaginary. It still feels like a reality once you get involved with them enough. Sometimes I want to be able to write my own story and then transform into it. You know, live life through the pages of a book? It'd be so much fun, don't you think? Imagine all of the possibilities. In the realm of literature, there's no bounds. You can do anything you'd like. And you can write anything you'd like. You can read anything you'd like. You can be anything you'd like. Sorry, am I rambling? <laughs> well, you're smiling, so I take it that it's not bad. I suppose you're right that I get a little invested into these things. I I find that whenever I talk about something I'm passionate about, I, I get more lengthy and wordy in my explanations. <laughs> it's stupid, I know, but um, it's just a way to be able to express my ideas with everyone and, you know, it's so much easier when you can talk about something that you actually enjoy and you find comfort in talking about and you want to share it with so many more people because you think that they'd enjoy it as well. It's main of the part or oh, look at me stuttering I'm sorry I don't know what's gotten over me today. I think maybe it's seeing you so defeated but that's one of the main reasons why I started the Literature Club. I felt the need to share literature with everyone and to show them how beautiful it truly is and all the different styles and... You get the idea, don't you? <laughs> Your laugh is adorable. I... <laughs> anyway, um... Are you feeling any better? So we can get to school. We're not late yet, essentially anyway. If we really rush, we could probably make it on time. No, you just want to stay? Alright, I guess just for a little bit, because you actually have an excuse. I, I don't. I can only use it for one member per month. I know it's kind of a stupid rule, but what, what do you have, huh? <sighs> it's just something we utilize every once in a while when one of us forgets a project and the others can ask to pack up some other stuff as well alongside with them. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a little bit, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit cringy, but hey, we're a team, right? We're one big family in the literature club. It's nothing different. Well, um... I guess we better get going now. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have to get to a class. We have a quiz today and I don't want to fail the first period already. <laughs> well, it was really nice talking to you and I'm so glad that Sayuri brought you to the literature club. You'll make such a great addition. Honestly. Yes, truthfully. You will make such a great great, amazing addition to our club. <laughs> Even if you don't think that way, I know that you're gonna be awesome. So, um, I guess I'll see you at the club this afternoon. Okay, uh, bye! <laughs>